Hey guys, um, so this is going to be the introduction to our discussion on the expansion of European powers from the old world to the new world. Um, this unit's sort of overarching name is the Age of Discovery, which is probably not all that accurate. Um, it, something more specific to them would maybe be the Age of Colonization. Um, or an early imperialism, which we'll talk about in a later date. We'll use that word imperialism later. Um, but it's basically a, um, a discussion of how France and England and Spain and Portugal um, took over um, the land that is now North and South America from the indigenous populations that were there. So today's is just a really quick, like, what caused that to happen? Why did Europe start doing this? And it's really um, an economic venture more than anything else. Economics is going to drive most decisions, I think, in world history. I think you could probably teach a whole section. Um, you could teach our entire course on why or how, rather, um, money has changed the world. Um, the need for money, the need for more money, the ways of people making money has changed the world. Um, but for this one, it's, it's the concept of trade. So previously we've talked about how Europe traded a lot with Asia and with Africa and the Middle East. And as that trade increases, you can see this top, how the trade increases with Asia, they're going to look for faster, more efficient ways of getting there. And part of the problem that European rulers had is that they were very accustomed in the Middle Ages of accessing Constantinople. And Constantinople was, at the time, a Christian-controlled city under the Byzantine Empire. Well, the Ottomans took over Constantinople. Ultimately, they're going to rename it Istanbul. And the European powers, despite the fact that the Ottoman Empire was very inclusive, was very open, very diverse, um, European powers didn't want to trade through this Muslim outpost. And so they were looking for maritime routes. Now you're going to remember that maritime meant sea. Um, they're going to look for ways to sail to Asia. Um, there was a, a theory that you could leave and go across the Atlantic Ocean and end up in Asia. So that's their goal, ultimately. So this is a, a long title to this chart, but it really just means why. Reasons why. Probably should have written reasons first, huh? Reasons why the Europeans went to discover new land in the Western Hemisphere. So the first one of those reasons, I'm going to switch to a different color. Um, so that I can write on this orange, um, is that they're looking for gold and spices and natural resources in Europe, which has neither gold nor spices nor that many natural resources that haven't already been tapped. So they're looking for resources. They're looking for items to trade. So that's one reason that they're going to expand and search out um, more raw materials. They're also looking to diffuse Christianity. Oh, I've got a little, a little bit larger on my in there. Diffusion means spread. So they're looking to spread Christianity um, as one of the reasons people would have chosen to leave. This is not going to be the reason why kings and queens, monarchs of Europe, are going to pay for expeditions to sail. But that is why citizens of Europe are going to choose to get on ships and leave for the New World. Um, the Jesuits are a great example. Remember that we talked about the Jesuits last unit are Catholic missionaries. They left in droves for the New World, um, largely into Latin American colonies like Mexico um, and South America. And they set up schools and they did a lot of education. They set up hospitals and nursing facilities for the populations living in the new Spanish colonies in New Spain. Um, you can also think about the pilgrims. You learned about the pilgrims 
in elementary school, right, for Thanksgiving. The Pilgrims are a group of Protestants, Protestants, I just spelled that wrong, sorry about that, a group of Protestants who were English. They're um, actually Puritans is what their um, particular branch of Christianity is called, Puritan, um, but they're very regimented. They have a lot of rules. They have a lot of restrictions like no singing and no dancing. Um, and they left from England seeking a place where they could practice their specific brand of Christianity. And first they left and moved to Holland, but then that wasn't working out for them either. And so they left to go to the new world as well. Um, they were trying to head similar... I'm struggling for words here, um, reasonably close to where Jamestown is, maybe where Maryland is, and they got a little bit off course, and that's why they landed in Massachusetts. But that would be a group of people who were discovering land, right? A group of people who were leaving, not in relationship to um, the kings and queens, but to the citizenry. All right. Um, the next one is competition. They're just trying to make money. They're trying to gain control, right? They want to have the most land and the most resources because they all want to be the most powerful countries. This is going to be the reason for kings and queens to fund expeditions. Because if you can take over a region and pull all the resources out of it, you become more wealthy and your country becomes more powerful. Um, the next one is one of the factors for expansion at the time period, why it happens when it happens, is because of technology. These new tools that they receive largely from trading with the Muslims by trading with the Middle East allowed for broader scale expeditions. You could not have traveled across the Atlantic without the astrolabe, which allowed you to chart your exact location on the on the ocean based on the stars and your longitude and latitude lines. That was an, a Muslim invention, and there's no way that Europeans could have gotten across safely um, and, no, and then known how to get back without that invention. Um, the compass, of course, comes from China. The Latin sail comes from India. Right, it comes from over here. Those are all things that were crucial to expansion that without Europeans trading in the 1500s, the 1400s, the 1300s with the Middle East and with Asia, they would never have been able to then explore across the Atlantic Ocean. Um, and then this last one is the pioneering role of Prince Henry the Navigator. Prince Henry is the one of the members of the royal family of Portugal. He is a Portuguese prince. And he was very interested in, um, when he was doing his studies, in all of these new technologies and in the, the geography of the world and that sort of thing. And so he spent his career funding schools and universities to study the navigational arts, to study how one can improve ship design and tech tools in order to travel and that sort of thing. And I think this picture is one of my favorite sort of visuals. Um, Prince Henry is a 1400s birthday. Um, and in the 1400s, Europeans had sailed to this part. They had sailed to the Canary Islands. All this in green was known world to the Europeans. And you know that like this is the Sahara. It's not like there's a lot of travel happening into Africa. But in Prince Henry the Navigator's lifetime, Portuguese ships mapped this entire section of the coast of Africa. That's a pretty large chunk of Africa to be to be mapping just in one man's lifetime. Um, so he is pivotal in making that happen for the entire world. Um, it's because of Prince Henry's work that in um, a few short years, the Portuguese are able to sail all the way around the coast of Africa to get to India. They found the Portuguese, we don't think a lot about the Portuguese as a powerhouse country, but the Portuguese were the first Europeans to get on ships and go around Africa to India. Um, they travel across the Atlantic and colonize in South America. They are creating tool, um, they're creating all kinds of 
port cities and trade networks and that sort of thing. They're a, they're a powerhouse. They're certainly in the 1400s, much more pivotal to trade and um, international commerce than England and France were. Um, and it's all because of Prince Henry the Navigator. So um, as with everything, if you have any questions, let me know.